To commemorate the founding of New Orleans in 1718, WYES presents this tricentennial moment in celebration of our city's past and present. For 60 years, the French Opera House was the center of cultural life in New Orleans. It was a home for opera, theater, and even used as a palace of carnival. Designed by architect James Gallier, Jr., the French Opera House was built in just seven months, opening in 1859 at the corner of Bourbon and Toulouse Streets. It quickly enhanced the city's reputation as a world-renowned center for opera. Photos show the scale and size of the building. With four tiers of seating welcoming patrons from all walks of life, including members of the white and Creole of color communities and slaves. In addition to opera, the building was a venue for vaudeville shows, plays, and carnival balls for the mystic crew of Comus and other crews. During World War I, the Opera House fell on hard times and was forced into receivership. Businessman and philanthropist William Ratcliffe Irby acquired the property and donated it to Tulane University. Its future seemed bright until that dark day in December 1919 when the building was destroyed by a massive fire, almost 60 years to the day it opened. Lyle Saxon may have best captured the emotions of the city when he wrote in the Times-Picayune, the heart of the old French Quarter has stopped beating. Today, the site of a hotel, the Opera House was essential to both the city's rich architectural and music history. WYS's New Orleans Tricentennial Moments are brought to you by the Miro Foundation and presented in association with the historic New Orleans Collection. Additional support provided by the Gale and Tom Benson Charitable Foundation.